Moon and star. 130 feet. You can actually go all the way up there. Then I see the name of Allah written right here in front of us. So 50 feet to the top of the dome. Wow, subhanallah. Wow, okay. mashallah. I like here that wow. It's not supported by any post. No, no support. So they have a 96 names on the wall. And they couldn't fit the last three. So Let's that's, go downstairs. That's, see, what is downstairs? No. This is the longest. Island <laughs> I have ever seen in my life. We are saving millions of dollars. Literally, literally with their own hands building the masjid. One small community with a big heart. I have a question. Is this the tallest minar in America? Uh, <laughs> and tell me about the history of this masjid oh okay first i will say assalamu alaikum this beautiful allah's house he called as salam it's the name of the mosque we start designing uh, in 2016 so yeah. it took us a year for the architect to design everything structural engineer to design the structurally the mosque and the and the, and the minaret i i have a question is this the tallest minar in America? Uh, I'm not sure it's the tallest one, but it's one of the tallest ones. And it's built like a Bosnian traditional way how we build minarets sure. in the Bosnia. I think it is, it is the tallest. I think it is the tallest. <laughs> I, I think so. So the, the Kandil, let me turn the Kandil, yeah. You know when the, when the Iftar during the Ramadan? Yes, the yes. Fast, watch out those Kandil. <laughs> Come on. Yes. There's supposed to be a timer when the sun goes on when you break the fast. Yeah. The lights that we call them Kandil came on. Oh, and sure. then in 2017 in May, that's where we have a groundbreaking. That's when we start um, building, you know. And then everyone is uh, is so happy that people have never seen mosque built from the ground up. You know, this is the very first time that people really? can see. Whoa. Yeah, That's we it. had the centers, you know, centers, is, we love the centers. They're like musallas. Exactly, yeah. but when we talk about the mosque, this is, we call this a very first mosque, including having the minaret, tall minaret, like 130 feet yeah. up to the moon and 130 star. 130 feet, mashallah. 130 feet up to if the you moon you include, and star. If you include the moon and star, which is the hilal, the symbol of yes. Islam. What made you have this tall minar in the first place? Because this is the same way, it's traditional way how we build it in Bosnia. It's the best way to present us as a Muslims, yes. as a Bosnians. So mashallah. many people drive around and come here and ask what is for it. And then, you know, back in the days, we didn't have a sound system like you can mm. announce different information to the community. Yeah. So back in the days, person would walk up there. You can actually go all the way up there. Really? 100 stairs. The muezzin would call for the prayers. Or would announce if somebody passed away. We call that uh, Salah. You know, we would call Salah to tell the name who yeah. passed away and then information for the janaza or any important uh, news or announcements. Uh, back in the days, that's why we yes. use it. So basically you're bringing back the Islamic architecture, the Islamic tradition exactly. that you've grown up with in Bosnia. Also the minaret represents like a, like a harf, like a leather elephant. I see these pillars as a other harfs and the um, land connecting them. I see the name of Allah written right here in front of us. Subhanallah. That's how I can see it. You know, if you see the Alif. elephant and you see other harf, and the uh, ground was connecting them. As you can see, we got 64 parking spots here. We own 29 acres of the land. So right. we are using uh, half of it, including a first Muslim cemetery. Yes. So this is very first Muslim cemetery here in Des Moines area. Right. So Masha'Allah. we established a cemetery. There is no Muslim cemetery before, before this? Before, no. Our Bosnian community um, yes. purchased this. Right. And then it is for the whole Muslim. We are so proud yes. that we are the ones who can help the other, other brothers 
Mashallah. and sisters. Brother Alvedin, that that house over there. Yeah, this is. Uh, yeah, we own. What this, is that? This is a temporary place for the prayers. It's okay. a masjid also, but it's also it's 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 a funeral home. So Mashallah. if somebody passed away or die, the, when they release the body, the, they bring the body here. That's where we wash it, and then get ready for janaza. And then, and then we just go there. So the cemetery is Muslim. This is very first there. only Muslim cemetery. There's nobody only else. Muslim only cemetery Muslim cemetery in the Des Moines yeah. metro this, area. This, yeah, I mean it's 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 designed to to have to bury only Muslim people, nobody else. And then you can see the Kufi style in the brick. See yeah. the, the dark brick. Yes. That's a uh, uh, Kufi style uh, uh, Allah Muhammad. And you'll be able to see same design reflection on inside. Once you walk inside the mosque, we can see it. Let's go inside. Let's go inside. It's almost finished, inshallah. Hopefully this year we're yeah. gonna be finished. Mashallah. So welcome and Assalamu alaikum. Stop in Westview yeah. here for a second. Yes. Stop right here and turn the light on. So this here is designed for the man right side. There's gonna be 110 um, uh, cubbies for the shoes. Yep. And then on the left side there will be 110 cubbies for the sisters. So the uh, right. left side is designed for the sister and the right side was designed for a man. And we have beautiful uh, painting on the wall. There's a yes. two famous um, calligraphs came from Bosnia. And then they did all the paintings. And you can see the ceiling. Ceiling has a meaning that the hexagon is uh, like a honeycomb as you can you know the, yes. the bees and the honey was mentioned in quran honey was mentioned as a shifa as a as a, as a medicine yes as a, shifa, same yes. As, a, as a quran is a medicine is a shifa same thing with the, with the honey so we have so many you can see outside shoot over there there's a bunch of them uh, beehives so oh, we have really? over 100 beehives here oh, on this sure. land producing lots of nectar, lots of good honey. Yeah. And then we have the same motivation that we're gonna build our ceilings representing uh, our community being strong, like a strong beehive. Absolutely. So if you walk in here, let me turn some light off. Walking in right now. So, when you walk in, we call this overflow. Right. And then man goes to the right, Work okay. right where the wood, uh, voodoo for men and uh -huh. toilet for the men. On the left side, follow me. This uh, is the library. So the kids can come and learn. In this Shara, is the library. This is the library. It's almost finished. Right here there will be a cold shelf. You'll be able to put your shoes in the shelf, take right. the coat off, put it right here. And sister come here. This is designed for them. So it's almost finished. You can see the the beautiful people donated and installed it so the the, the sister will be able to come here to take the wudu then whole building is designed as ada accessible in case if somebody has a wheelchair you'll be able to just um, push button doors now open for him so there is a place for them to be able to have enough room here so they can circulate and have a wudu and then both of these uh, voodoo's or ablation, whatever you yeah. call them, they have a shower for the kids. Oh, if somebody needs to take a shower, it's coming from the soccer field, you can come here and then have yeah. a shower. So if you come this way, here is the four sisters, uh, bathrooms, Mashallah. everything, the whole building is designed to be energy efficient. Meaning, oh, really? Motion meaning sensors. All, these, all these faucets are motion, all the lights are motion sensor. Motion detector? Yes. Okay. Alhamdulillah. So far, okay. so far. These are bathrooms for the sisters? These are the, uh, getting ready, yes. You Masha can see. This is ADA uh, accessible, same thing. So this bathroom is also uh, designed for the uh, uh, people in wheelchair. So we go up there. So the lights come on myself. So it's, uh, it's 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 motion detection, yeah. Yeah. So this is for sisters. The, so this is all stainless steel. The pose, the glass is gonna be glass railing, and you can see the tiles. Right. Uh, right. Maintenance free. Basically, we're trying to make the building for new for generations for next hundred years. People so can do any work. They can just come and enjoy. Brother Elvedin has a hundred year vision. Inshallah, Inshallah, for the yes. next generations. And right here. 
Oh, the honeycombs are back. Yeah, we're going to go back to the honeycomb. Today, we have two guys, uh, Hira and Yusmir. They did a floor here. You can see the ceramic set. We come from Thursday, inshallah. They're coming back to do the, do the heating, cooling, HVAC system. What is this room, though? What? This is a mechanical room. It's going to accept, it's going to be full of uh, different equipment okay. for the heating and cooling. Okay, the, the whole room is just whole about... Room just designed to, yeah. Check, check this out. This is beautiful, brother. Subhanallah. This is beautiful. I have to say this. Honeycombs are... Honeycomb, come oh, back. Oh, what, <laughs> what is going on? Huh? Wow, Subhanallah. Wow, MashaAllah. I like to hear that wow. I hear so many wow so yes, far. Yes, MashaAllah. <laughs> <laughs> wow and MashaAllah. This is for sisters. Take a look at this. This is for oh, this. Allah. 40 feet diameter of the dome. Subhanallah. It's not supported by any posts, any columns. It's like a... No columns, no, no columns. support. See? It's 40 feet diameter. Check the 99 Allah names inside. So if you come to the center here, and you're looking into the, in the Kiaba, yeah, and you start reading, Allahu la ilaha illahu wa rahayu kayu uh, Ayatul Kursi yes. Ayatul Kursi all the way around until he in continuous La ikraha fid dini kata bayana rushtu min al-gai fa man yakful bit taguti bayumin billahi faqad istam saka bil rubat al and then very top so they have a 96 names on the walls right. and they couldn't fit the last three <laughs> so, see, you can see how they get smaller when yes. they go to the top. Yes. So what they did, in, inside the center of the dome, yes. they have Surah Al-Fatiha and last three names. Hu Allahu Ladi La Ilaha Illahu. So, and then they fit all 99 Allah names on the walls and inside of the dome, the center of the dome, is the yes. Surah Al-Fatiha as a mother of the Quran. Absolutely. That's very, very smart. Mashallah. Yeah, and then see the, see, see the, 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 we call this uh, ornament. Yes. He has the, see how the uh, uh, 80 lights shine in the, the, the calligraphy and the ornament. See the ornament has uh, eight angles. And Allah in center. Yeah. And then, Brother Albadin, I have to ask you, you know, usually, you know, usually uh, in Masajid, we see that uh, there's usually written Omar, Abu Bakr, um, you know, the, the yes, Khalifa, yeah, the Khalifa names. Known. Yeah, they're all also, we have those written in our mosque. Yeah, but. But I have to ask you, we have uh, Khatija. Yes, yes. We, got we have uh, the uh, Islamic... Uh, uh, women's names. The women and the, the leaders mm -hmm. that uh, are role models for the sisters and also for us. So you have uh, Maryam and then Isa as well. What, what is the reason? Because this is very unique to this exactly. Master. Yes, we want to uh, represent that our sister among their equal. That is the reason. Yes, there is sure. the reason. Yes. That's amazing. I noticed that usually, you know, it's only men's name. <laughs> but uh, mashallah, brother, <laughs> Alhamdulillah, is, yeah. is setting the example. <laughs> inshallah. Alhamdulillah, we're trying. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless this community. Building this mosque from 2016, meaning designing and working on. So far, this has been built without uh, construction loan. This is built, really? uh, built no loan. with the cash, cash money. From the community. From the community, from the working class people. We don't yeah. have a big, big rich people as yeah. financing or the government or only anyone. Yeah. This has working been class. financed by the average and then we have so many volunteers that they come in and then perform the work. So they donate. They bring the material and they work to install it. Mashallah, they donate with their uh, money and they also donate with their skills. Exactly. Mashallah. Exactly. Uh, you can see, a lot of that, a lot of that is like that. Alhamdulillah, so far, no injuries. No, no injuries of any kind, you know? Yeah. And yes. most important, this has been built uh, uh, for the sake of Allah. It's halal. 
and for sake of Allah, and not never nobody has a um, problems like fighting or arguing. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. this is built from the it, it, from the love, Allah. love for yes. the sake of Allah. Men's restrooms. This is the men's restroom, inshallah, almost done. Just like the sisters, it's just on the other side. It's very, very well organized. It's very, very organized. I, I can say, you know, systematically done. Both sides have the same. It's just like the brother said. It's, uh, it's equal. <laughs> Are you enjoying it yet? Alhamdulillah. I, I saw the pictures, but seeing it in with your own eyes, it's uh, it's amazing experience. It's, I sure. understand. Yes. Even let's say in case of emergency, you never know. Yeah. Uh, there's two emergency exits right here, so we were thinking about that. So people can find emergency exits going to the door, or if yes. there's a person in the in the wheelchair, yeah. he can go around by himself. Go up there is a sidewalk. All leads you all the way back to the parking. You know? Brother Elvedin, you, you put a lot of emphasis on uh, accessibility for uh, disabled brothers and sisters. W what is the reason? The reason is uh, back in the days, or if you go back to our countries, I see, we saw many places, many mosques, where the people can have to carry it, people, a wheelchair and everybody. Pe before, people didn't think about this a lot. Now, we were yeah. paying so much attention to every detail. We spent the whole year designing it Not to sure. make sure nobody is left behind. Yeah, so nobody feels nobody feels is left is, behind. Exactly. So that's that's nobody the feels that. And then, so we yeah. designed the mask. So um, even the parking, it can be used as 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 a worship area. In case if, yeah. we, if we have like overflow, overflow. Uh, you can yeah. see you can leave the doors open, and then the staff or people can line up. Like thousand people can go back. Yeah, the driver. The, the driver. driver. Yes. So, so brother Alvin, how many people can pray here inside? Let's talk about inside. First. Inside. Inside, uh, inshallah, how many brothers uh, and sisters? Here, let me see. How tall are the? How tall are the ceilings? Ceilings are so fifty feet. To the top of the dome. Subhanallah. To the to the to the uh, to the deck is 30 feet. So the ceiling is like yeah. uh, uh, not 30 feet, maybe 27 feet. Mashallah. Uh huh. Without any support. Yes. <laughs> how how did you, Mashallah? How did you pull that off? <laughs> you know. Uh, <laughs> occupancy for main level 716. Mashallah, 716. 716 for main level. Main level. Main level means what? That's, that's where we at right now. Right. So for main level, for upper level, we are which is the 236 room. occupancy load. That's the sister. That's the sister. So it's already you, you're counting 716, 236. That's a 900, 940. 950 already. That's the occupancy for this and upstairs. Mashallah. So Let's that's, go downstairs. That's, See, what is downstairs? Oh yeah. <laughs> Same footprint. So multi-purpose room for the weddings, for the Eid celebration, for the iftars. Yes. For meetings. I did not know that there was also downstairs. So we have the main. That's level. how we save money. Yeah. Under the one roof, you have center and the mosque. Mashallah. You know, under one roof, otherwise yeah. you have to have two different buildings. Exactly. I know it, uh, it took a long time for planning and for everything, but uh, Mashallah, once it's done... See, the man comes down for iftar, another uh, restroom for the man. Right underneath. Check, yeah, right under the other one. Well, this one is ready. It's almost ready. Alhamdulillah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one is oh. ready to go, Inshallah. Yes, ready to use. Mashallah. Mm -hmm. So, and then kitchen. So, men come here. If it's uh, self serve food, uh -huh. we serve the food right here. So, we come from this side, sister come from the other side. There is a circulation right. area. Mashallah. We just walk around, you know. We can this, walk this, around. This is, uh, <laughs> this is the longest island I, <laughs> I have ever seen in my life. <laughs> Mashallah. Yeah. It's beautiful. Same thing. Our people donate uh, the so right. They donate their labor. Um, so right. You can see that most of the work, I would say 80% of the work, is being performed 
from our members. Yeah, we have so many skilled people. We are saving millions of dollars. Just uh, as we are running the work, yeah. we are managing everything, overseeing the construction, how everything goes. Yeah. We are hiring only contractors for the bigger projects, like a yeah. HVAC, plumbing company, uh, when they start doing the, 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 the grading, because he has to take like a yeah. big machines, big bulldozers and yes. you know, loaders. Heavy machinery. Yes, heavy stuff. machinery. But everything else, basically, alhamdulillah, is done by uh, members from our community. Usually, usually what happens is that, you know, the community pays and that's it. Yes. But mashallah, literally, literally with their own hands building the masjid. See, Alhamdulillah. That's the most that's beautiful, that's most that, beautiful that thing. Is, that you know? I've never seen that before, mashallah. This, this is massive purpose room. And we got classrooms, three classrooms here. Oh. This multi-purpose room can be used as a fourth classroom. So it these is. classrooms are like for what? For exactly? For the Sunday school. Oh, so you have an Islamic Sunday school yes. here? Yes, uh-huh. So... Mashallah, what a beautiful it's classroom. <laughs> yeah? Yes, there's three of them like this. They're not ready. So we still use them for the... Okay. Uh, for different purpose. But once we are ready to move in, they're gonna be, they're gonna be uh, set up as a classroom and they're gonna stay like, like that. And this is the multi-purpose hall. And check this out. Let's go this way. Patio to bring the tables out. For the people you can sit. Oh, mashallah. Beautiful patio on the side of the masjid. Beautiful patio. Yeah, not mask is nice from the this side too. All the concrete work. Look at these beautiful stairs. Our guys oh my God. build it. All the concrete work. Our guys did it. All the masonry work. Our guys did it. We got so many skilled people that we are so blessed. Alhamdulillah. That's a huge soccer field. Oh wow, that's massive. That's part of the that's part, part of, of the masjid. part of the whole the project. Yes. Mashallah. And inshallah, by the end of the August, we have the certified contractor. They're gonna plant the uh, seed. It's designed for the uh, for the soccer stadiums. We call Athletic Gold. The seed, the grass, is has a. Uh, it's, it's special. It's designed for huh. the soccer. So they're gonna special, they're gonna hydro seed it. Kids. Yeah, they're gonna hydro seed it in the, by end of the August when there's that's when they start the guarantee season is gonna grow. These kids are lucky. Kids are lucky. <laughs> yes, and then these are the, the hard work house. of. The, this is a control room okay. for the sprinkler system for the alarm system. Yeah. So the water is gonna get connected. So we got the new four-inch water line came into the pump house, and then it's gonna connect. This is already in the mechanical room. It's already under the slab. So okay. it's gonna get connected. They might gonna add um, a booster pump here because you need to. You see the how tall? It's like uh, 50 feet. Yes. Up to the up to the top of the of the of the dome. That's yes. where they have sprinkler lines inside of that dome. So Not sure. basically, we are having a problem with the low water pressure. Right. But they're gonna add a small booster pump. It's gonna help. To, to, to run that uh, fire sprinkler system. Mashallah, the minar is visible. The minaret is minaret visible, is visible from every side. It's built by our brother Safet. He came from the Detroit. Really? Our job is provide him a one helper, food, shelter, place to sleep. That guy work like uh, 15, 16, 18 hours a day. See the base, the shaft of the of the minaret we call that in bosnia chup the white portion see how it's different yeah. than the rest of it and here is a shaft or we it's called the donor wall we call okay. this Wakifa, so it's gonna have the names of the people who donate the money to the mosque on the minaret on, on the on minaret the, it's gonna be a wall you'll be able to walk it'll be sidewalk around the benches you'll yeah. be able to sit down and start reading the names for the Wakif name. Absolutely. <clears throat> absolutely. Brothers and sisters, this beautiful, absolutely amazing masjid needs our help. And inshallah, we're going to put the donation link. We're going to do the fundraising right here on this video, inshallah. So we can directly have your names on the minar, inshallah. MashaAllah. That's exactly. So right here, as you can see it, we call the, even in the print, in the architect, in the architectural drawing call for the donor wall. So right. we are working and then 
our, our young group of the of the board members uh -huh. I just talked to them last weekend right they got information from Facebook from every person who donate yeah. through the Facebook or different platforms different uh, yeah. on the social media uh, let me get so we got all their information right so inshallah those names gonna be in either in the book Wakif or the Wakif wall one small community with a big heart that we can build a minaret any height that we want mashallah uh, all other permits we just get it so easy like any other allah building. made it easy allah made everything easy so, for you exactly. brother and then people our neighbors in dallas county they were just uh, uh, treating us as a part of the community which and county is that the dallas county dallas county dallas county yeah here in iowa it's here called dallas iowa. okay dallas county yeah i mean they issue all the permits to us without absolutely without any, any problems because usually what happens is there's you know there's a lot of problems <laughs> that you know the city or the people they make but not, not here not Marshall. here we are so happy and blessed and uh, and proud that we can say it like that basically the community has been building the masjid themselves and we're almost done inshallah this is good opportunity for the for everyone right now if you want to invest for the jannah this is right now is the best place absolutely so we still are um, collecting money to go finish the road uh -huh. we even we, ch we we apply to change the address so the road from the 141 to here right. called bosnia claim right Bosniak claim. Bosniak. so we're still looking uh, asking for donation to collect the money to do the concrete portion all the way from the from the driveway over there to all the way to the 141 highway yeah mashallah so you can so brothers and sisters you can donate for that you can donate for the masjid there's still so many things that they need help with look what they've achieved mashallah nobody knows about this and look what they've done already with the help of Allah so mashallah you have the chance to invest in Jannah inshallah and also in dunya and in akhira because this is uh, the pictures pictures don't uh, tell the whole story but you have to visit inshallah if you wanna really feel it it's the best when you invest something in it absolutely that's the best I mean if you work whatever you do yeah. invest the money or invest your time invest something in this project it's absolutely amazing feeling on inside it makes you happy for the rest of your life always always <laughs> So far we collect 4.5 million dollars. We already invest 4 million dollars. These 500,000 are waiting for HVAC contractor. They're starting the job next Thursday and all that money is gonna be gone. So basically we're gonna be without money again. Right. To complete the rest of the project, meaning complete the parking and, uh, and the road, uh, finish the soccer field for the youth uh, inside finishes meaning uh, fire sprinkler system complete finish we are short additional six hundred thousand dollars would be great opportunity for the people for the brothers and sisters if they are looking to invest for the um, sadaka jaria for the something gonna be in the future for next generation you can see the building is uh, almost maintenance free our kids or next generation of the muslims and non-muslims will be able to enjoy and to see now investing uh, our money our time for the for the future generation alhamdulillah this is the best feeling i ever experienced coming here past seven years working investing uh, struggling is absolutely best feeling as allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in quran Fa inna ma al -usri yusra, inna ma al -usri yusra. Uh, indeed there is a ease with the hardship and right now really if you don't suffer a little bit for the sake of allah you're never gonna feel the the inside the joy but uh, i felt it so many times here alhamdulillah. alhamdulillah we are so blessed that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, choose this community these people to build his house 
as you see in the in the cornfield yeah. you know and alhamdulillah he is making everything easy on us even if we are suffering we don't have a three-phase power we don't have a sewer system we don't have, we have a low pressure water but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us we are able to build a building it's a, it's a modern it's energy efficient and we can have everything inside so if you can please help wherever you can every dollar is it, it helps it doesn't matter how much but our goal is to involve and any everyone alhamdulillah assalamu alaikum